Hey guys, I'm just about done with my workout here and I'm gonna hit the tibialis anterior and I figured I'd show you guys this. Most of you probably don't know what a tibialis anterior muscle is or what it does. And is it important to work out? Is it important to do exercises for your tibialis anterior? Maybe, maybe not, it kinda depends. But I'll go over all that with you. First off, let's check out the tibialis anterior in my anatomy book here. So, you can see the tibialis anterior muscle right there. This would be the main muscle on the front of your shin. It runs along the front of your tibia on the shin bone there. And connects down onto the top of the foot. And you can see on my leg here, there's a little bit of a shadow there, but tibialis anterior is sitting right here. So if I'm pointing my toe, my tibialis anterior muscle is lengthened. It's relaxing because my calves are the antagonist muscle of the tibialis anterior. is pointing my toes down. That's called plantar flexion of the ankle. Now dorsiflexion of the ankle is bringing, that would be bringing the foot and toes up. That's what the tibialis anterior muscle does. So you can see right here, I'm relaxed. Right here, I'm dorsiflexing my ankle and my tibialis anterior you can see it contracting and shortening right here so that's what this muscle does and like i said it's an antagonist to the calf muscle so if your training has a lot of calf stuff in it if you're doing calf raises or uh, seated calf raises for the soleus and you're doing a lot of these and you're really trying to work your calves this can kind of throw the muscles out of balance at your lower leg because the tibialis anterior and the calves both act on the ankle joint. They both do opposing actions. So if your calf is really strong and really tight, it'll st and the tibialis anterior isn't there to check it, your ankle can kind of get out of balance. It can get, your calf can get tight. Your Achilles tendon can kind of get overworked and sore. And also when this and when your calf complex is a lot stronger than the tibialis anterior, if you're doing a lot of running, this can lead to shin splints because this muscle is just getting weak. And from what I understand, it's basically like the tibialis anterior getting pulled off the bone when you have shin splints. That's why it's painful. So before you hit that stage where you have shin splints or pain in the front of the leg, you want to do some prehab exercises, which prehab just means doing exercises before an injury happens to prevent that injury as opposed to rehab, which is you have an injury and then you're nursing it back to health or you're doing certain exercises to get it back to health. Prehab is doing exercises before any injuries happen to safeguard it from happening, from injuries happening. Of course, you can't prevent all injuries, but this is gonna make you more resilient to injury. So see how I do my tibialis raises here. I got a glued hand developer machine that I got this band hooked onto. And really, if you have any sort of anchor that you can put a band onto, it'll work. This is just how I have it set up here. Uh, I just have a carabiner and it's tucked into there enough so that it's not gonna move around. This is a red Rogue Fitness band. This is kind of a light resistance band. It's got a lot of stretch in it, which is good because if you have a short, fat band, it doesn't have a lot of stretch into it. When you're pulling it tight, you're not going to get much range of motion in the movement. So Then I got this thing. This is actually a window uh, shade rope or something, I think, like curtains. Something to tie around the curtains to keep them in place and kind of be decorative. But for some reason, I had the genius idea one day of buying this for, for this specific purpose, and it works real well for it. It also works good as a handle just for doing different exercises with the bands, but you can put it in between your big toes like you would wearing like the thong style sandals. And if you're a person with really small feet and small toes, this might be tough. You might not be able to do this, but I'm gonna slide back, hold up the tension in that band. And then I'm gonna let my feet go and pull back up. So you can see I'm getting a good contraction in my tibialis anterior there. And I like to pause at the top for about a second on each rep. And I'll also kind of go inward a little bit just to mix it up a little bit. So if I'm doing like a set of 15, I'll do like eight, seven or eight normal. 
And then I'll do three or four inside, and then I'll also go three or four outside. And this just kind of hits that at a little bit different angle. I don't think it makes a whole lot of a difference, but it definitely doesn't hurt to do that. Got a good burn in my tibia anterior there a little bit. I'm usually doing higher reps, so I'm only doing this once a week on my full body training days on my lighter day and I'm just including two sets of 15 of this like I said it's just prehab type stuff I'm not trying to get any hypertrophy or like huge shin gains or anything this is just something to hopefully prevent any injuries from happening and kind of keep that uh, calf complex that gastrocnemius and soleus in check so you're balancing that joint out you're making sure there's not too much strength and too much tension on one side of the joint and this should lead to healthier ankles, healthier feet, and hopefully preventing any of those problems like shin splints or calf pain. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you found this useful. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to find out some more unique exercises, especially things you can do in your basement to help you get in shape or prevent injuries or uh, work any muscles that may be lagging behind. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.